Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Hannah Dennis and we are going to be warming up heading into this week. We did have a chilly couple of days the, uh, these past few days, but things are going to be changing. In fact, we're also going to have a, a few windy days out there and we could even see some thunderstorms going into later uh, later this week. Now, as far as your wind forecast goes, you can see that Monday and Tuesday afternoon are set to be very windy ones, but the good news is we level off with the wind after that. So we just have to get through these first couple of days and then the wind will ease up. However, we do have a few rain chances ahead. Now looking at the future cast of the wind gusts, you can see Monday by 10 a.m. things start to ramp up a little bit. We're looking at 25 mile an hour wind gusts at this time. And then as we go into the early evening hours, we get close to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. So it is going to be a very windy afternoon and evening. We'll get a break from the winds overnight Monday into Tuesday. But things just uh, ramp right back up going into Tuesday afternoon and evening. You see those wind gusts are back up to close to 40 miles an hour again, but then after that, things level off and get a little bit nicer. Now, due to these higher winds, we are going to possibly be seeing some elevated fire danger across the state. So be careful with any kind of outdoor burning that you may have scheduled for tomorrow because those winds are going to make it very easy for things to catch on fire and then spread quickly. Now, we do have some rain on the way. Monday, we will see maybe some scattered showers, which I'll show you in just a second. But as we go into the um, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, you see our rain chances go up. Same with Sunday, but we could see some storms with those. Now our first round of rain is really not going to be anything. You can see that we have a few scattered showers. This is at 5 p.m. on Monday and it just stays like that going on throughout the day. It's just very few and far between as it's coming across the state Monday going into Tuesday and then Tuesday morning. You can see this uh, uh, section of rain stays more towards the south. It doesn't really want to enter our state as much. And because of all of that, wanting to just not be in our state, we're not going to really see anything. A lot of us will be lucky if we even get close to a tenth of an inch. So this rain event is really not going to be anything, but maybe a little bit of an inconvenience if you're outside during the time that we do see a little shower. Now, later on in the week, we do have a chance for severe weather. This is looking at Thursday overnight and into Friday we are we do have that possibility of seeing that severe weather however it is too far out to really get any kind of details or really get specific but it is something that the weather team will be keeping an eye on we'll all keep you updated once we get more and more information about the system that will be coming through now tonight, it's still going to be chilly, but it's definitely warmer from last night. We'll get down to about 38 degrees. It'll be mostly clear. You'll have those higher clouds kind of passing by and then tomorrow we'll warm up to 71 degrees, but we could have we could see a scattered shower or two um, going into those evening hours and then it's also going to be a windy day. We could see those gusts close to 40 miles an hour once we go into the afternoon and evening hours. Now taking a look at this 10 day, you can see that we keep those 60s, so that's nice. However, However, Monday, Tuesday are the days with those windy afternoons. Then we'll get a break from the uh, wind, but then that rain starts to move in and we have several chances to see some thunderstorms. Now, Friday is the day we could have severe weather, but outside of that, we could get some rumbles of thunder going uh, with any of these rain chances all the way Thursday up until Monday. So while it's going to be warmer this weekend, it looks like it's unfortunately going to be a rainy weekend, but hopefully the following weekend will be much better.